often who we are is what we attract so what if we become more accepting in the dating process and what if we start getting more acceptance back in the same way or we start how it metaphysically works we start attracting people who are more accepting because we have become more accepting so if we're not looking at people with that narrow scope you're talking about then perhaps that narrow scope doesn't come back at us I used to live in a world where I thought uh, most women think men don't like older women I hear that all the time as the excuse when I shifted that around I saw that men love older women and the ones that don't who cares who cares then I started dating men of all ages if you feel that you're not being accepted when you're dating then my job when I was dating was to look at how I'm not being accepting if I feel like people are looking at me with too too small of a parameter how am I looking at people with too small of a parameter? Because my, who I attract is going to be a mirror of what I'm putting out. I had to realize my relationships that I attracted were not that loving, were half loving, because I was a half loving person and I didn't think that was true of myself. But it was. I was very judgmental. I have been trained to be very judgmental living in this culture. And I read a lot of magazines and a lot of those, you know, internet and all this telling me who is attractive and who isn't, what I'm looking for. So I would go out very judgmentally looking for that. And then I, through this process and through, thank God I was in the Tantra Ashram, I could see that that method doesn't work because that method is looking for love by being unloving. I am encouraging myself to be an unloving person and going out and looking for love that way. That can never work. If I want to find love, I have to become less judgmental and more loving. I attracted someone better than I ever could have ever imagined. Everyone at this point goes to have to settle. <laughs> Settling is such a weird concept. It means that the more I become loving, the more the people that show up are going to be loving. If I'm walking around with that at attitude that guess who shows up? People who treat people that way. They treat me that way. Not her. If in the present moment I am as loving as I can be with all of you, this increases my capacity to be a loving person and therefore attract love back from the universe. But Western dating, not tantric dating, is going out judgmentally, not lovingly, and treating everyone that way. And the kinds of relationships people are getting into are not particularly loving. They are based on, if you put on five pounds, they're going to get rid of you. If you get old, they're going to get rid of you. If you get cranky, they're going to get rid of you. If you get so you want to attract someone who is actually loving you and you're loving them. And how do you do that? I don't think this method works. I did it too. I did it for three and a half years. But I was doing it, watching it as a spiritual person, seeing what's happening to me as I continue to participate in this process. Myself and many people I talk to would say this thing. I go, there are probably no men in L.A. for me. There's 10 million people here. <laughs> I think I have to leave L.A. to find somebody. I hear people saying this, and I thought it at times. How could there possibly be no one loving in a city of 10 million people? But that is the absurd end of this type of thinking. That I'm so... My, as Jackie's saying, that the narrow, the pathway in is so narrow, nobody can get in. The pathway into my heart is so narrow, nobody can get in. What if it's wide open? What if we're friends first, lovers first, and then we decide if we want to have a sexual friendship? <laughs>